Welcome to the Biotechnology Lecture Series. Today, we will discuss genetics traits with its inheritance and variations. If we talked about what are traits, it is an observable characteristic that is inherited from a living thing to its offspring. For example, eye color, hair color, tongue curling, and blood type. How are traits passed down? As trait information is located within an organism's genes, Genes are a section of DNA that is passed from parent to child. Genes carrying trait information are passed to their offspring during reproduction. Now let's discuss reproduction. It is the process of how living things produce offspring, like babies. There are two main reproductive methods, sexual and asexual. In sexual, offspring inherit half of their trait information from one parent and half from the other, making the offspring genetically distinct. Examples of living things that reproduce sexually includes fruits and vegetables like avocado, apple, tomato and corn, and in plants and animals, it would be rose flower, grasshopper, fish, eagle, fox, two ad, and elephant, and of course, humans. In asexual, reproduction only requires one parent. Trait information from the parent is passed down to the offspring. The offspring is therefore an exact copy of the parent. Examples of living things that reproduce asexually includes algae, potato, strawberry, jellyfish, cactus, starfish, dragon fruit, and wheat. Now come towards the variations. Trait variation is the natural differences in traits observable characteristics and qualities between individuals of the same species. For example, within a group of cats, some may have green eyes, others blue eyes. Some might have long hair, others short hair. Some cats may be active, others are more laid back. Trait differences between members of the same species occurs in two main ways, genetic variation and environmental variation. Let's discuss genetic variation. In sexual reproduction, half of a mother's and half of a father's genes are passed down to their offspring. The genes that are passed down to individual offspring will vary. This means that members of the same species will look similar, but may have some differences between individuals. For example, the puppies of the two parent dogs are different colors. This is because one puppy received the trait information for hair color from the mother and the other puppy from the father. And if we talked about environmental variation, the following environmental factors can influence the expression of traits. For example, climate and weather, rain, temperature, diet and nutrition, disease and parasites, exposure to toxins and pollutants, and level of parental care. The example includes hydrangea flowers will change color depending on the acidity of the soil. The environmental factor is soil acidity. And if we question, is trait variation a good thing? Then the answer will be yes. Trait variation helps a species to adapt to changes in their environment. Thanks to trait variation, some individuals may have traits that help them better survive and reproduce in a changing environment. For example, scenario. A population of green lizards live in an environment that includes green vegetation and sandy soil. Lizards with sandy or yellow coloration might be better able to blend in with sandy habitats, while green lizards may blend in better with the green vegetation. A variation in color within the population can help the lizards to better camouflage themselves in different environments, which can in turn help the species to avoid predators and survive over time. Here are some questions related to the topic. Number one, what is a trait your parents have passed down to you? Number two, if you have siblings, can you identify differences in traits between yourselves? Number three, what environmental factors are different from your parents growing up? And how might these influence trait expression? Number four, consult reliable sources and research a plant or animal that has traits inherited from its parents. Draw, describe, and label. 
Number five, consult reliable sources and research an example of trait variation from within the same species caused by genetic factors. Draw, describe, and label. Number six, consult reliable sources and research an example of trait variation from within the same species caused by an environmental factor. Draw, describe, and label. And number seven, how does trait variation relate to the evolution of a living thing? That's all from this lecture. See you in the next video for our upcoming lecture. And let's not forget to subscribe to this channel so you won't miss our next lecture.